Hello Python programmers. So in this video, I'm going to show you that how you can create a currency converter program using Python. So first of all, let me explain you what I mean by currency converter. So let's say that you want to know that how many rupees are there in one US dollar or Kuwaiti dinar or similar conversion you want to know. You can use this program to get that output. Okay. So there are two approach for this project. First is to create a database of all the conversions. Now this is not what you know me for. You know that I love working on Python packages. So I just found a package for this also and that is called Forex Python. So first of all, let's go to a command prompt and install Forex Python. So we'll open a command prompt here and just write pip install uh, just a second pip install forex python okay and then press enter this package will be installed for you now I won't waste your time and quickly jump to our notebook to write our code. Okay, so now we are into our notebook. So our first task is to import our required package, which is Forex Python. Okay, so now we have imported our currency rates uh, module from our Forex Python dot convert package. So let's run this to see. Uh, okay. So I guess this should be ER actually, this should be ER. So let's run this. Okay, so now let's create a class object. Uh, let's say C. Actually, it should be rate. Uh, no, it's rates only here. So let's run this. Okay, so now let's run our actual or let's write our actual program which will print our exchange rates for you. So we'll just write uh, C dot get rates. Actually, it should be get rate only. And then we'll write our two currencies here. So let's say we want to know that how many Indian rupees are there in one US dollar. So just a second. This is very irritating. Uh, US dollar and Indian rupee. This is the code for uh, US dollar and Indian rupee. So let's run this. And there you can see that in one US dollar we have uh, 75.0375 Indian rupees. So let's say that we want to know that uh, what is the specific number of Indian rupees for a specific number of dollar. Let's say we want to know that how many Indian rupees are there for 20 US dollars. So what we'll do is we'll use our convert uh, function here. It should be all small. Convert just a second. Convert. Okay. Let's run this. And there you can see in 20 US dollar we have 1500 Indian rupees. Okay, so there are a bunch of more functions that we can explore. Like let's import our currency code package. Uh, sorry, currency code uh, file. So we'll write currency code here. This will return the name of the currency as well as the uh, symbol of that specific currency. So we'll save this. And let's create a variable cur. And so we have created a class object here. Let's run this. And currency code is not defined. We haven't run this. Uh, okay. There should be codes here. Okay. So let's run this once again. And now it worked. Let's create our object. Should be currency codes. Now it works. So let's write our command. So we'll simply print our uh, cor dot get symbol 
for let's say Indian rupee let's run this and this is the symbol for Indian rupee let's say that you want to know that what is the currency name so instead of get symbol you will write get uh, currency name let's save this and run this and this is the name of a currency Indian rupee so this is not all what this forex python uh, package provide this also provide a BTC converter or a Bitcoin converter module so what if you want to know that what is the current price of Bitcoin in your currency so we can use that so let me import from okay so now let's create the class object for our Bitcoin so that will be let's say bt is equal to bitcoin converter let's run this okay now let's print the bt dot get latest price just a second latest price for our indian rupee INR okay and this is the price of one Bitcoin in Indian rupee you can use USD here or your currency code okay so this is it this was a short video where we have explored this forex python package we have seen how we can know that what are the exchange rates for different currency we can convert between two currency we can know the symbol we can know the currency name and we can even do the bitcoin conversion okay so this is it and i'll meet you in my next lecture where we'll create something more awesome okay so meet you there bye bye